I don't have too long to film this intro. I've been waiting for sunset to get my finished result sort of clips of this makeup look because I just think it looks so pretty with the warm lighting. Today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and I wanted to get this out now because if you need anything like glitters that I'm showing in this video or very specific makeup products, Ebates is doing a huge double cash back promotion on so, so many stores starting now through December the 31st. And a lot of the makeup products I'm going to be using today are from Nordstrom. High-end makeup can definitely get expensive, so getting cash back and double cash back in this circumstance is really good. You save a little bit of cash here and there, especially when items are a bit more expensive. I experimented a little bit with OCC in this video because Nordstrom recently started carrying OCC and I thought that was so cool. They're pretty affordable. Their lipsticks are like 15 ish dollars and their glitters and stuff are closer to 10 so getting on top of that double cash back is just such a good deal I think this is the perfect time to get your paws on some new makeup for New Year's Eve so yeah if you want to see the full list of promotions I'll have a little link for you down below Ebates is my favorite way to get cash back I've saved so much freaking money through it I highly recommend it so I thought now is just the perfect time to go ahead and show you guys this look it is full show pony it has been a while since I've gone full show pony this is every trick in my arsenal I went all out and obviously you you can modify this and kind of change things according to your preferences, but I just wanted to show you how I would wear it. I'm gonna get into the look and I hope you all enjoy. So I just primed my lids with a bit of concealer and now we can get started on the eyeshadow. The palette I'm going to be using today is going to be the Lorac Pro, mainly because it's just super freaking easy. I'm going to take this shade called Taupe and just dust that into the crease using a general fluffy brush. I'm not going to be shy either about bringing this up and into the lower part of the brow bone just because it can easily be blended away and I want a very high transition color. Now I'm going to layer on the shade Saddle. I'm going to use another fluffy brush for this, but this one is a bit smaller. And this time we're really going to focus this in the outer half of our crease. So we're not bringing it in quite as high or quite as far. I'm also going to bring Sable into my outer corner and just work that really lightly in about halfway. Now using a pointed pencil brush, we're going to take Espresso, which is a nice, really rich dark brown. This is going to really define this outer corner area and I'm gonna start putting the shade down a bit more precisely and just getting the shape that I want and then we'll kind of just fill it in and add a bit more but for now I want to make sure I've got everything where I want it. Now we're just going to lightly work this into the very outer corner of our eyes and we don't want to bring it in too high or too far. This is going to stay completely concentrated in this outer corner and I know that layering the browns might seem tedious and it definitely takes a little bit of time but it makes blending a lot easier and I also just think it gives a better effect, like a nicer gradient from the really, really bright glitter into the shade. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Too Faced Glitter Glue. The glitter today I'm going to be using is from OCC and it is in the shade Beige. So we're gonna put a little bit of glitter glue onto the inner portion of the eyes to get it nice and tacky. This is definitely an important step if you are going to be working with glitter and it will make sure things actually adhere to the eye. I'm using an Offer Beauty 11 brush for this and it is perfect. It's not incredibly thin to where it feels like you're not picking up any product, but it's also not too thick to do this with. The nice thing about glitter is if it gets anywhere you don't want it to, you can always just buff it away. So I'm just using my fluffy brush and kind of softening the line. So what we'll do is clean up in a few minutes, but for now we're going to go back into the palette and take the shade Pewter and just kind of lightly press this to meet where the glitter ends. And this is going to kind of help us transition over because it has a very subtle and light sheen to it. So now we're just going to take a nice deep black liner and I'm going to do a full cat eye today. So I had to take a little lunch break, but now I'm going to clean up the under eye. I'm gonna be using this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. It's essentially Bioderma, but a hell of a lot cheaper. This is nice because it doesn't really leave a residue, and it also just, the formulation is really thin, and I just feel like it's easy to clean up with. Okay, 
Okay, so moving on to the face, I went ahead and primed my skin using my Too Faced Hangover RX. I have quite dry skin um, that is feeling really patchy at the moment, so this just kind of helps to nourish it. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite foundations ever. This is a super full coverage foundation, which I think will look nice, especially with like a full glam look like this. This is the Lancome Tontadol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I'm currently in the shade 140 Ivory, and this is just going to make me look so much more flawless and airbrushed than I look currently. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and this is going to be my concealer of the day. I'm just going to draw an upside down triangle. I'm also going to highlight between the brows and down the bridge of the nose, here on the cupid's bow, and then a bit on the chin as well. And now we can just blend that in using the damp sponge. So this might seem a little bit high maintenance, but first I'm going to take my translucent setting powder from Cody, and I'm going to bake my under eye. But because I am going for a full coverage flawless face, I'm going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, this is their matte one, like the actual matte base powder, and this is in the shade Light Plus. And I'm going to super lightly go over the other areas on the face where I kind of highlighted to set them off and also just to add more coverage. The powders have maybe like five minutes to sit on the skin, so now I'm gonna go ahead and contour using the Burberry Glow, Light Glow, I'm sorry, Contouring Powder for Face and Eyes in the shade Earthy Blush. It's just a really great, gentle contour shade and I'm loving it. I'll also focus a bit of this here at the temple and bring it up and into the hairline. We're gonna take a bit more of that MAC mineralized powder, and I feel like I'm talking so weird. Um, we're just going to set right under that contour. We don't need a super harsh highlight because this powder is a bit more natural, but I do like something underneath. I'm going to bring the contour powder just under the jaw. I went ahead and just blended the powder under the eyes, and now I'm going to pop on a bit of Tarte's blush in Beaming. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Illuminator in the shade Starlight. This is just a very pale gold. I'm going to go a little bit ham with the highlight because it's New Year's Eve. Just now realizing I forgot to contour the nose, so I'm gonna quickly do that. To give myself a sculpted look, I'm first going to take a matte base powder and use this basically down to the tip of my nose. Then I'm going to use my shimmery highlight and just place this right on the tip, and this can give the illusion of a straighter nose. So moving on to brows, I'm going to comb them out using a spoolie. Do you see this absolute devil child of a zit just chilling under my brow? Yeah, because we really wanted him there. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to define my brows. The last time I did my brows, I was using a product that I didn't like, so now to see them done nicely, I'm just like, hmm. I'm going to take the shade Cream from the Lorac Pro Palette and just use this right under the brows to give them a nice clean edge as well as blend out my shadow. Now just using the Anastasia Illuminator again, I'm going to pop this right on the arch of the brow to give them a little bit more of a lift. So now we can focus on the lower lashes. I'm going to go back into the Anastasia Pro Palette and use the color taupe. This is just going to go on the lower lash line. So now we're going to take the MAC Press Pigment in the shade Blonde Streak. This is going to go on the inner corner of the eye for a nice metallic look. I'm going to pop on a bit of really dark brown pencil liner to my upper tight line as well as my waterline. Now we'll jump into Sable. Just pop that right under where we place that brown on the waterline. This will help to kind of blend it out. Now we'll take espresso again. We're basically going to press this as close to the lash line as humanly possible. We're about a third of the way into the eye. And using a smaller fluffy brush, I'll lightly go over everything we've done. 
powder products are on my face. I went ahead and set everything off using Prep and Prime from MAC and then followed that up with Urban Decay All Nighter. And now I can apply a bit of mascara. My lashes today are by Ilore and they are the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour. They're super full and perfect for this look. So I already kind of started just because I wanted to make sure this was the color that I wanted, and it is. I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nude Pink. On top, I'm going to be using the OCC Ready to Wear Lip Tar, and this is in the shade Memento. for me. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you all have had a great holiday. I will see you so soon in my next video. And until then, please have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.